Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial and today we're going to look at placing one object inside another in Illustrator. Now there are a couple of ways to do this and which you choose depends on what the outcome is that you want. Now I've got two identical circles here. Both of them have a stroke and a fill and I've got two identical stars, both with strokes and fills. And we're going to look at the two different methods. But I'm just going to save another copy of these over here so that we can see how the result compares to the originals. So one of the methods that you can use is a clipping mask. For this I'm going to put the star in the circle so I'm going to place the star over the circle approximately where I want it to be. But the star is on the top of the circle. For this clipping mask tool to work, the star has to be underneath the circle. So I'm going to choose Object Arrange, Center Back. That places the star underneath the circle. If I select over both objects, right click and choose Make Clipping Mask, then the star is clipped to the shape of the circle. But you'll see immediately that we've lost any semblance of the circle except the overall shape. Every bit of the star that was outside the circle has been clipped off, but there is no fill and there is no stroke for the circle. And that's the impact of using a clipping mask. When you use a clipping mask, you lose the shape that you've used as the clipping mask. Now there's another method that you can use. I'm going to take this star and I'm going to cut it. So I'm going to choose Edit Cut. I'm now going to select the circle and from these three little options down here I'm going to select this one which is draw inside. Now you can either draw inside this shape or you can paste something inside it and we're going to paste that star. But let's have a look and see what it looks like when you have draw inside selected. You've got this sort of selection marquee around the shape but you've also got these little indicators that are telling you these little dashed lines something's a little bit different about this shape and that's because you're in draw inside mode. Now at this point I'm going to choose Edit Paste and that pastes the star inside the circle. Now at this point I can move the star around until I place it exactly where I want it to be and then before I click outside the star to go on working I'm going to need to go back to Draw Normal. So I'll just click here on Draw Normal. Now let's look and see the impact of the Draw Inside option. In this case we've got the same cut off areas of the star, they're not visible, but we've got the fill on the circle. Well we can have the stroke as well and to do that we're going to the Layers panel. Now I've lost my Layers panel so let's just go and get it. I'm going to open up this layer and here we've got a clip group. That's the draw inside has given us a clip group just with slightly different behavior to the normal clipping mask. I'm going to target my ellipse here and you can see that we've got a fill and a stroke but the stroke's not showing. Well the reason the stroke's not showing is that it's not centered over the edge of the shape. If it's centered then it will show. So let's click here on stroke and let's go back here to align stroke to center. And when we we do that we get not only the fill but also the stroke. So we've got a totally different effect when we use draw inside to when we use the clipping group. We have the shape fill and optionally we can also get the shape stroke back so that we can get this result. Now whichever you use is really going to depend on what you want the outcome to be. Do you want this to be the result of clipping a star to this circle shape or do you want this? This one is just a straightforward clipping mask and this one is taking advantage of the draw inside feature in Illustrator. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned things about Illustrator of which you were previously unaware. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button and click that notification bell and we'll let you know when new videos are released. Until next time, my name is Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here at my YouTube channel.